Actually, we'll get to that story in just a second, but first we want to go back to meteorologist John Smith talking a little Christmas Eve storm headed our way. What are we going to yep. expect here in Albuquerque and all around the state? Well, por portions of the state, if I can get it out, portions of the state will be looking at a white Christmas, but the metro, unfortunately, not looking at that white Christmas. Oh, It'll be a little too warm to get that snow going this afternoon, but we do have a chance of getting a couple of showers. We are watching that storm system. You can see most of the snowfall north and west of the state right now, and it is kind of scattered, but this storm will actually gather strength as it moves toward the state. So we will have a good shot of picking up a little bit of snow, especially over the northern mountains into southern Colorado and into the Four Corners as well. Winter, winter weather advisories in effect for these locations where we will be looking at a few inches of snowfall, about one to two inches over the Four Corners, a little bit more than that as you move over the northern mountains. And that snow will be building in through the morning hours and into the afternoon by this this afternoon and around 5 o'clock, we'll be looking at snow over the northern mountains and into the four corners, and that will continue to push to the east by tomorrow morning. Northeast will be picking up on a little bit of snowfall, and then we start to clear things out as we move into tomorrow afternoon. So we will be keeping a close eye on this storm. More details to come on that in just a few minutes. All right, if you have not gotten your last minute Christmas holiday shopping done, you have all about 10 hours or so left until most stores close. And besides looking for the best gift, Look out for thieves, basically Grinches, who want to steal your Christmas. News 13's David Romero is here with a couple who got caught this weekend after David what was a wild chase at a mall, right? Quite a wild chase, Matt. Now, there's a few less people reveling in holiday cheer after police say Brenda Cedillo and Justin Cordova broke into cars and homes and in evading capture yesterday caused more needless stress for shoppers. Now, the van the two were in made a small demolition derby in the Coronado Center parking lot yesterday afternoon while trying to get away from cops. In all, about six cars were hit. This was after they were confronted by officers who say the duo was stopping women with purses and bags. Cars weren't the only thing in, things in harm's way. Detectives say the driver tried to run over a police officer, hurting his foot. The van finally ended up going through a fence and getting stuck. The suspects tried to run and threw what may be a stolen gun. There's, from what I understand, some very high dollar purses, um, a lot of bags inside of that vehicle. So, um, from what I understand, Louis Vuitton was mentioned. Now, police say they've been busy with other thieves as well. On Saturday, a man and boy were arrested for stealing from the West Side J.C. Penney. The day before that, a mom and daughter were caught shoplifting at the Walmart on Coors Southwest. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Now, as for Justin Cordova from the mall incident yesterday, he is expected to be charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Investigation on that does continue. The man who police say brought a truck full of drugs and alcohol to a high school basketball game in Albuquerque is now off the hook. This after police arrested Cameron Sanchez on Friday, saying that he was with a bunch of drunk students. Officers say that inside Sanchez's truck they found alcohol, plus marijuana, drug scales, even rolling papers. This weekend, his attorney asked the judge to drop the case, saying police didn't do their job. At this point, we would ask the court to dismiss the matter. There's, um, the burden is on the state or the police in this case to comply with the four corners. And as you can see, they simply didn't do that. Okay. All right. And I'll grant your motion to dismiss. Sanchez's attorney says police did not have a search warrant or get permission to go inside the truck. More than 300 underprivileged kids here in New Mexico are going to have a Merry Christmas thanks to a bunch of high school students. Seven students from Roswell High had raised a lot of money to go on a trip for their key club. Then CYFD called and said there were 300 kids who would not have a happy holidays without some sort of help. So guess what the high school's, school students did? They ditched their trip and used all that money that they raised to go buy presents for the kids. An old closed school up in Santa Fe is now up for sale and it could become a senior living center. The St. Catherine Indian School went on the market two weeks ago for four million bucks. Santa Fe, New Mexican says the school may not be able to be used for stores or offices because neighbors don't want a lot of traffic there. So instead, it could be a senior living center. St. Catherine Indian School closed back in 1998 and needs millions of dollars in renovations. Well, do you or someone you know need to go to the dentist? If so, today is your lucky day because Comfort Dental is doing dental work for free this morning. This is from 730 to 1130. Comfort has three offices in Albuquerque. You see them on your screen right now. It's already given away about $15 million worth of free dental care. A judge here in New Mexico is on the wrong side of the law this morning, accused of beating up her boyfriend. Shannon Riley is a Workers' Compensation Administration judge and was arrested in Albuquerque on Friday. Investigators say her boyfriend called police saying he woke up to Riley punching and scratching him after the two had gotten into an argument that night. Judge Riley says it was self-defense and that her boyfriend pushed her first. 
Well, the man who used to be a sheriff's deputy is accused of robbing two pharmacies in Santa Fe could be in, involved in even more crimes. That's what investigators are saying now. As of last night, George Smith was still in the hospital in critical condition. Investigators say he is the man in some surveillance video holding up a pharmacy in Santa Fe last Monday. There's a picture of him there and that he did the same thing on Tuesday. Saturday, police found Smith unconscious at a motel in Albuquerque. They think he had overdosed. Now Santa Fe police think that Smith could be involved in crime in South Carolina, where he used to live. Law enforcement agents in South Carolina is uh, looking into some robberies that have a similar uh, method of, of being robbed. Well, Smith was a sheriff's deputy in South Carolina. He was also one for the Reba Ariba County Sheriff's Office last month. Then he got asked to quit. He's also married to a prosecutor. The hunt still on for a convicted sex offender. Here in New Mexico, investigators say that Brian Boyd did not check in with his probation officers this, this month, and now they can't find him. They also say that Boyd's ankle monitor is not working. Brian Boyd is spending 20 years on parole. He won't be done until 2031.